Practice Lesson 80 is on using a constant factor to solve ratio problems. So here we have the problem. Sadly, the ratio of flowers to reeds, weeds in the garden is 2 to 5. There are 30 flowers in the garden. About how many weeds are there? So first I'm going to draw my ratio box. Okay, if you remember, we have two columns. We have the ratio and we have the actual count. Okay, so my ratio of weeds to flowers, okay, weeds is, or sorry, flowers to weeds, did that backwards. Flowers to weeds. That's very important to get it in the right order or your numbers will be wrong. So the ratio of flowers to weeds is 2 to 5. And now I know I have 30 flowers in my garden and I need to figure out how many weeds I have. So I need to figure out what the constant factor is. So the constant factor is what my ratio times the constant factor equals my actual count. Okay, so in this case I'm going to be looking at these numbers, 2 and 30. So I'm going to think 2 times what is 30? Now if you don't know, you can always divide. 30 divided by 2. So 2 goes into 3 once, that's 2, subtract 10, 2 goes into 10 5 times. So 2 times 15 is 30. So I do 2 times 15 is 30, that means I can multiply that same constant factor, which is 15. I can multiply my 5 by 15 to figure out my actual count. So let's do that. We have 5, or 15, times by 5. 5 times 5 is 25, carry my 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So my answer will be 75. 75 weeds, because you always label. Okay. All right, on this next one, it wants us to draw a ratio box and use the constant factor to solve this problem. The ratio of boys to girls in the cafeteria was 6 to 5. If there were 60 girls, how many boys were there? So first, draw your box. Again, we have ratio, actual count. So our ratio is of boys to girls. So when it's 6 to 5. And I have 60 girls. Make sure to put those in the right boxes. It's not 60 boys, it's 60 girls. Okay. So I need to think 5 times what equals 60. So in this case, I know that 5 times 12 equals 60. But if you didn't know that, again, you can go ahead and divide. So 5 goes into 6 once. That's 5. Subtract, bring it down to 0. 5 goes into 10 twice. That means I can multiply my 6 by 12 to figure out what the actual count of the boys is. Okay, so 6 times 12 is equal to 72. Okay, so the actual count of the boys is 72 boys, and that's my answer. Hey, good luck on your homework.